Hi, my name is Sarah and today I wanted to show you my plants. Uh, I wanted to do an update on my older plants and then I also want to show you some of the newer ones I've got and I'm super excited about them. If you know me, you know I cannot leave IKEA without getting some cacti. These were actually a gift and I'm super excited to see how, how big they get because like you'll see I have some from IKEA that are super big now and so yeah I'm super excited for these. Also look how soft. Then we have this one. You've seen this one before. It was actually one of the ones that was leaning towards the side. I put a picture up here, uh, but it was a really, really big problem because this upper part was getting bigger and bigger and heavier and heavier, and the lower part was just unable to sustain it. And I don't know exactly what happened, but it just it needed support and if it didn't have support it just kind of fell over. So I decided to cut up cut off the top part and just replant it, repot it like this. Fingers crossed that it keeps growing, that it won't die off. But yeah, for right now it's like this. Okay, so these two are actually IKEA cacti. Um they started up in the very small pots, like the ones that I showed you and they're massive now i have no idea what i'm gonna do with this one i don't know if i should put it outside because it keeps growing and it doesn't seem like it's gonna stop and this one is doing an amazing job as well they, they just like insane i do feed them i do give them a bit of cacti food into the water that i water them with but yeah i i don't know what i'm gonna do with these two they're just growing like crazy Next up is this soft boy. It's very soft, but it has needles. Uh, yeah, it still keeps growing. Um, all of these plants I have to repot. I think I'm gonna do that in the springtime because I need to get them some new soil. But look at it, it's so nice. But do not be fooled, you cannot, cannot touch it because it has very sharp needles. This one is a newer one. I think I got this one at Lidl. They tend to have cacti and succulents and they're pretty cheap. Uh, I haven't had it for that long but I think it's enjoying its place here. It gets warmth, it gets some sun, it gets water. It has a lot of other cacti buddies. I think it's very cute. Then we have this one. If you remember this one had a buddy. I got them minus 80% off because they needed some extra love. Um, the buddy sadly wilted away and now I just have this one. Uh, I, I will give it a new home. I know I said that in the other video, <laughs> but I will give it a new home because this does not drain properly. I don't like this. Anyways, he's gonna get a new home that's big enough for him and not too big. Then we have this one. I think this isn't a cacti. I think it's a succulent. It was under cacti, but at first when I got it, I thought it was fake. I really didn't, like you can see right here, I tried to see if it was real or not. It is real, it just looks very fake. <laughs> it looks very plasticky. But it's been growing, it's becoming a, a big succulent, I think. Or a cacti, I'm not sure. If you know what this is, let me know down below. I think it's a succulent, but it's very cute. Then we have this one. Um, he refuses to be straight, which is fine. We're LGBTQ friendly here and we're just gonna let it grow that way. I do kinda wanna repot it though because it seems like it's not enjoying the soil. Maybe just kinda <laughs> just <laughs> maybe tip it a bit. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, it's doing its job, it's growing, it's enjoying the sun, it's enjoying its cacti buddies, so also this one, this is the I think one of the older ones I have, and it's doing great. It's growing, as you can see. Sadly, no flowers, no blooms yet. But, yeah. It is doing a good job at being a cactus. I have another cactus, but the problem is it cannot hold up its own weight. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna post some footage right here, but it's the Chernobyl bunny that I like to call it. And the problem is it keeps growing and getting new heads. I guess and the problem is the main <laughs> head cannot support it anymore so I'm not sure what I will be doing with it I don't know if I should pluck them off and put them into their own soil or if I should somehow try to make a contraption that's gonna hold it up but it's it's really growing insanely 
and it just cannot support its own weight so I'll have to do some googling for that one do some research so those were all the cacti slash maybe succulents I'm not sure I've also been getting more into traditional plants because I feel like it's a bigger challenge than having cacti I know cacti are also quite challenging but I wanted to spice up my plant collection with some other plants as well so this is the first plant that I got it's apparently very easy to maintain and I just love it it makes me feel like somewhere where there's palm trees like on a beach it's called uh, the it's a drakena I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly but I love it so much it just makes the room so much nicer and friendlier and I also have this one which is apparently from the same family just a smaller version of this I'm not sure but this one is also lovely makes me feel like I'm somewhere tropical on a beach it's <laughs> it's very nice and I also got a monstera because it's so popular and I really like the leaves I think they're adorable it's I don't know why it's growing sideways <laughs> I have a problem my plants do not want to grow up they prefer sideways that's fine um i am getting some yellow leaves and I, I read that it's apparently from over watering uh i'm a bit scared because with my cacti i just water them like once a week once every two weeks when i feel like they're too dry and i'm really scared that i'm not gonna be watering my plants well enough and so maybe that's why they're turning a bit yellow the leaves so I'll try to keep my watering to a minimum of what's necessary but it keeps growing new ones look at them they're so cute it's just a bit sideways which like I said it's fine you don't have to grow up straight you can grow up whichever way you want and one of the fun things I learned about monsteras is that they sweat I never knew plants sweat but I found some droplets on my leaves. I was like, is this plant okay? What's, what's wrong with it? And then I googled it, and apparently Monstera sweat. The more you know. So those are all my current plants. Uh, one of the ex things that I'm looking forward to when I get my own place is that I'm gonna have so many plants. Um, not too many, not like a hoarding situation, but I'm excited to have more plants. I think they make a space so much more interesting, so much more inviting. I'm sorry if I'm not very high energy currently, I'm still recovering from uh, sickness, but I still have some videos in the works and I am preparing for Vlogmas for December, so I am super excited for that and I hope you are too. I currently don't have social media i do have twitter and i have a personal instagram so if you want to give me a follow on twitter i'll leave the link down below otherwise i've decided to give social media a bit of a break and just use personal instagram and i've deleted tiktok because i was spending way too much time on that so if you want to follow me you can do that on twitter i'll be posting when my new videos are up and just stuff like that Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for paying attention to my plants. I think they appreciate it a lot. I'll see you in my next video. Have a wonderful rest of your day, evening or night. Bye.